let's try it again. So, my career started in clubs, and I used to play a teen club, a straight club, and then a gay club, and that was my night. And I always was like, you know, my mom was my manager at the time, and I'd be like, Mom, I can't wait to get to the gay club. <laughs> I played a great lesbian club in Brooklyn when I was 16. A lot of sweaty women after that show hugging me and giving me love, and I loved it. Anyone in, a, in my high school who was gay or lesbian was not out at that time in 1986, 7, 8. Someone had said to me one time who I dated, they were kind of like, they felt funny about coming to a Pride event or something, and I was like, I said, honey, this ain't gonna work because that's like more than half my life between my friends and my audience and you know, just the fact that it makes you uncomfortable is that's your thing. That's fine, but that's not gonna that's not gonna bring us any closer. <laughs> I always felt like that was the audience that was there for the music. The straight clubs, everyone was like drinking and picking people up, and they were almost inconvenienced by live performances. You'd get to the gay and lesbian clubs, and everyone was like. I couldn't wait to see a performance. So it was always amazing to me. I will tell you something interesting. I went into the studio yesterday to record something for a movie I'm doing. I decided to do this stripped down version of Only in My Dreams. And it turned into this like heartbreaking, reflective, mature song. But I wrote it when I was 13. And I was so kind of proud in that moment of like, Oh, I said, you know, I never say I wrote songs, I say I channel them because they come in and I go, thank you, and I write them down. And I was like, God, I didn't know what I was channeling with that song until, it, I, until I just felt something new from it as an adult and not in that hyper dance way, in a very kind of introspective way. We could do a little, every time I'm telling secrets. I'll do the stripped down version. I remember how it used to be. And I realized how much I miss you. And I realized how it feels to be free. No, 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 no. Only in my dreams. Anyway, that's a little snippet, little preview. But, yeah, I mean, when I recorded it, it was even more kind of a call it, like it's so loud in here, it's hard, but it was on that razor's edge of, I don't know if you ever listen to Conway Twitty, but when, Quan, when Conway Twitty does The Rose, and that was his originally, it sounds like he's ready to cry. Like, you really can hear that he's not performing, he's telling a story. And that's the place as I get older and more evolved in my performances that I want to go. I almost feel like anyone can belt, belt it out. But to let people in, to me, is more vulnerable and more human and a, a cool place to, to go. We're the official lesbian crew from LGBT Hollywood. We're the official lesbian crew. <laughs>